In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to do this here, which is how to remove the website and name fields from the comment form in Bricks Builder. Now, this is a blog post, so I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below of today's video. When you land on there, you can go down and you can just copy and paste this code there, and it should work. I'm gonna show you how to go and unset the website field here, then we'll progress into unsetting the author's name field. So we're gonna do both of them. I'm gonna give you the code, but what I also want to do in this video is answer a question or help you answer a question that maybe you have because I had the same question, which is here on this blog post, if I go down the bottom and we have a look at my comments form, I had the question of, is this form here? Let's just say I want to go and remove this name field there. Can I do it the normal way where if I go to Google and I type in how to remove the name field from the comments form in WordPress, can I use that code that I find on other websites or do I actually need to use Bricks specific code to affect this comments form because this comments form here is built by Bricks and not actually a default WordPress comments form. So if you have that question as well, I'm gonna try and answer that as best as I possibly can in today's video. So it should be a short one here, but I think it's gonna be quite valuable for a lot of people. So moving up to the top of this blog post, let's go ahead and do the first thing, which is removing the website field. So here on this staging website, I've gone ahead and undone all the changes and we're gonna reapply them in today's video. So if we go down the bottom, this is gonna be what your default comments form inside Bricks Builder looks like. You have a name field, email field, a website field, and a comment field. But with the default comment form here outputting all the fields, let's go ahead and remove this website field. So to remove it, I'm gonna go back to the blog post. I'm gonna go down to this first area here, and I'm gonna copy this PHP code code and paste it wherever you normally add your PHP snippets. So if you're using a plugin like WP Codebox or a Code Snippets plugin, or if you're using it inside your child theme, so maybe you're going to dashboard and then to appearance theme file editor. And then over here with your active theme selected, you click on functions.php and then scroll all the way to the bottom and then you might paste the code in there and click update file. Now, I don't add it there. The way that I add my custom code these days is in a custom WordPress plugin. It really doesn't matter where you add it. You just need to add it wherever you're normally adding your PHP code. So here inside this file here, I'm gonna go ahead and paste the code that we copied from the blog post. And then let's go ahead and save this and just make sure it's working. And then we'll come back and break down what this code is doing. So back here on the page, I'm gonna go ahead and reload and we should see this website field hide, which we have. Okay, so that's not outputting there. So let's go back and break down what's going on here. So the code is saying on this filter, comment form fields, run this function. And this is the function there. And you can see that it has access or it's passed this variable here, fields. And then we're checking if there is a field within here that is the URL field, we're gonna unset it. So we're gonna remove it and then we're gonna return the list of fields to the form to be output on the page. So that's what that's doing there. What we could also do, again, because we're always trying to practice PHP here, is we could see all the available fields that are inside this variable here. So we could go var dump like that. We could put in that. And if you don't know, this is a PHP function that just gets all the, the um, data about this variable and outputs it on the page for us to see what's going on inside here. So let's go ahead and save this. And then back here, let's reload the page. And you can see that inside that fields variable, we it's an array and it has four items. So it's an associative array. So the first key is comment and then its value is this comments field. Then we have the author key and then it has this here, this field and then email and then URL. And then do we have any others? No. So you can see there's four items in this array and they're comment, author, email and URL. So coming back here and looking at what our code does, if we just uncomment this again and apply it, if field URL is set, so if the key URL is set, which is this one here, meaning if it exists inside this variable, then we're gonna go ahead and unset it, we're gonna remove it. So what we could do is we could get this here where we're, we're running our function, it has all the fields for our form here inside this variable, and then we're outputting it on the page. Let's actually get this and put it after 
where we remove it. So we have all the fields here, we remove the URL, and then let's output whatever else is remaining here. So let's save this. Let's go back and reload. And now you can see array four has gone to three. So this array has three items instead of four now, comment, author, and email. So that's what that's doing there. And then we return the fields here back to the function for WordPress to output on the page. So that's what's happening there and that's how it works. So I'm gonna comment that there. Now the next thing that I wanna focus on here is how to remove the author field. So it's exactly the same process. We could just copy this and we could paste that there. And instead of checking if it's the URL, we could do author. So if the author field exists in here, then we're gonna go ahead and remove it. So we're gonna unset it. So let's go ahead and save that. We'll come back here, reload. And now you can see we only have the email, comment, and the submit. If you're not interested in writing the PHP again, this is how you do just the URL. And if you go down a little bit, there is the code here to do the URL and then also the author there. So you just copy that there, paste it into wherever you add your PHP and it will remove both of those fields. You don't really need to do anything. Now, for those that are curious as to how Bricks Builder and its form module works and how it differs or if it does differ from a default comments form, just you know, basically what WordPress would use with another theme, then stick around. I'm gonna break down what I've learned from exploring the theme files. And what I'm about to go through is actually included in the blog post if you wanna go and read it there with a few screenshots, but it's basically what we're about to cover now. Now, what's interesting is out of the box, Bricks moves the comment field to the bottom of the comments form. Because if you're not aware, by default, the comments form actually shows first in this series of fields. For example, if we go to the Astro website and we go to their blog and we click into this blog post, if we go all the way to the bottom to find their comments form, you can see people leave their comment, then type their name, email, and then post comments there. So it's important to note that something is going and affecting the default comments form and moving this to the bottom. And I'm gonna show you how the Bricks Builder theme or the page builder is actually going and doing that. We're gonna look at the actual code inside the Bricks theme that's responsible for doing this. So coming back into here, this is my custom plugin, but I also have here inside themes, if we click here, you can see that I have the Bricks theme here. So we can go through and see the files inside the Bricks theme. So the one that I wanna pay attention to, there's two files here. So if we go to includes, and then we go down to utilities and then comments.php, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, this is what Bricks has inside their theme. So there it is, add filter, comment form fields. And remember this one here, this filter, is the same filter that we just used in our function to remove those fields. And you can see here what it's doing is on this filter, it's executing this function here and the function is up here. It gets the fields variable here and fields is also passed here like our function. And then you can see it says comment field equals fields and then comment. Because remember inside here, there was four fields, one of which was the comment. So it's getting that comments field and saving it to this variable. And then it, what it does is it removes that field, the comment field from the list of fields here, but then it adds it back in. And that's how it's going and moving the comments field from the first item in the list of form fields to the end of the comments form saving it to another variable, getting rid of it from the list and then adding it back in on the end and then returning the fields to output for the comments form. So the way that I found this, and I think it's good to just share how we investigate these things and try and find answers to the questions that we have. The way that I dealt with this is I was like, you know, I wanna try and remove these fields from the comments form, but I wasn't sure if it was a default comments form that WordPress would normally use. So I opened up the theme files and I went looking for a file that was in relation to comments and I found comments.php. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's a good one to open. And also if you're using something like VS Code, which is the application I have now, the fastest way that I did it is I went to search up here and I searched for comment. And then I just clicked through each of these and that allowed me to find it a lot faster. So I wasn't going one by one. I did have the advantage of having it downloaded here in an application with a search. But once I found this filter here, I knew it was doing something to the form fields and I could see the comment here, move comment form text area to the bottom. Okay, cool. This is playing around with the fields. So I had an idea of, okay, I could probably use this to remove fields. So I got this, I copied this. 
I went over to WordPress, I pasted it in there and then clicked and then I was like, oh, okay, that is a default filter inside WordPress core. And if you go down a little bit, we can actually see there's examples of where it shows us how to remove these fields. So that's really all I did there. That's just how I got to this point. So I think that's worth noting. Now, the next thing that I wanted to point out is this here, we know that this filter is affecting the comments form fields, and this is a default uh, filter inside WordPress core. So from that, I assumed, okay, well, the output or the function that outputs the comments form inside Bricks Builder, it must be a default WordPress form then if this is allowed to affect it. So I went to elements and then I went to, uh, where was it? Post comments here, post comments. And we can have a look at the code here. Uh, don't worry, a lot of this is over my head. I definitely don't understand everything that's going on here, but we don't need to a lot of the time. We just need to look for something that makes uh, sense to the problem we're trying to solve. And I got down to, if we have a look a little bit here, WP list comments. And I could see firstly, what Bricks does inside this PHP file is it starts an unordered list item with the class comment hyphen list. And then a function runs inside there, WP list comments. So if we go back up to here and we search for WP list comments and then click into here, we can see this displays a list of comments. So from that, looking at this, we know that to list comments on our page, Bricks is using a default WordPress function. They're not just writing their own custom function. It does integrate there. And if we have a look here, this unordered list uh, with the class common hyphen list. If we go back to an article that I know has uh, comments on one of them and we go to the very bottom and we have a look uh, for our comments here, if we right click and inspect here, so we can see here the unordered list comment hyphen list. If I just collapse that, we have a comment here, a comment there. So uh, there's two comments and I've just replied to one of them. So the function that's outputting these list items for each comment inside this unordered list is what this is doing here. And again, that's a default WordPress function. And if you're curious to know how it's going out and outputting the HTML for each comment, you can see here it says there's a callback function, brick list comments. And if we were to go back up to the utilities and then comments.php and have a look right at the top, there's that function there, which goes through and outputs, you know, how these comments are supposed to look. So you can see here, there's a div and then it's div hyphen comment hyphen, and then it's the ID of the comment. And if we go back here and open up this list item, div hyphen comment hyphen this. So everything in here and the HTML that's being output here by Bricks Builder is by this custom function here in that file there. But if we go back to the post comments, the last thing that I wanna show you here that I found while uh, having a look at this is if we go right to the bottom, we can see this function here outputs the actual form inside Bricks Builder. So if I copy this comment underscore form, this is the function and we go back to WordPress and have a look and there's the function there. You can see it outputs a complete commenting form for use within a template. So from looking at that and looking at the Bricks theme files, we know that Bricks is using a default WordPress function to output the form on the page. And based on that, also while we're here, if we go down a little bit, uh, we should be able to find our filter that affects the form fields, which is gonna tie this all together. So the filter comment form fields, back here in this comment form function, if we just search for that, you can see that this filter runs inside uh, this function here. So if we go right to the top, uh, there's the function there. So basically what's happening is Bricks is using this function here that is a WordPress core function to output the comments form on the page. And as WordPress is going through and rendering that form there, it runs through all these different things that inside of here that plugin developers and theme developers can hook into to customize the comments form as it's output on the page. One of which is the filter that can manage the order of the fields and remove them from there. And that's why we were able to go out and use this default filter to affect the comments form. 
So you just wanted to remove two fields from your comments form. We ended up in theme files, PHP files, doing a whole lot more than you probably thought this video was going to do. But I think knowing these things like, okay, it's not a custom form. It's actually using WordPress core functions. Later on down the track, maybe you want to customize the form a little bit more. At least now you know, okay, well, that is using a default function there from WordPress. So I should be able to use other functions from WordPress to do whatever I'm trying to do here. It's not custom to Bricks Builder. I think just the more we know, the better. And I hope this video made you a better Bricks Builder user. So on this video now, and I'll see you guys in my next one. The next one's gonna be a good one. It's related to forms. And I think pretty much everyone's gonna get a bit of value out of it. So I'll see you in that video after you watch these two here.